Weapon X. Let's talk about Logan. So Logan is the final installment in the Wolverine trilogy of films. Hugh Jackman has said that this is the final time he's going to play Wolverine. The tale of Wolverine is, you know, kind of a convoluted one when it comes to the comics. But I like what they're doing with the films and the way they're, like, ending his storyline. And yes, there is a very distinctive end to Wolverine's storyline in this movie. And now, it doesn't mean that he can't come out in a cameo, something set in the past. Perhaps, I mean, we've already seen x kind of like do the whole timeline craziness and, you know, they're all over the place where the timelines. Let us go talk to the professor. McAvoy or Stewart, these timelines are so confusing. But, uh, you know, I, I would like to see him, honestly, uh, maybe cameo in their Deadpool 2. But at the same time, when I think about it, I almost don't want him to come out in Deadpool 2. So it could be kind of his own thing. And uh, we could have, like, you know, its own Wolverine and its own Professor X. And I think that would be the best thing, really, for Deadpool for it to do his own thing. And kind of, like, just let this incarnation of Wolverine ride out into the sunset. But, you know, everybody has their day when, you know, they have to pass the baton to somebody else. So, you know, eventually we will see a different person playing Wolverine. But until then, guys, this movie, Logan, is a movie you must watch. If you're an X-Men fan, if you're a fan of comics, period, don't miss this movie. It is just simply breathtaking. It is a very uh, humble, down-to-earth type of movie. It feels like you're watching an independent film. It doesn't feel like your action explosion, throw him against the wall, and he goes flying through three different walls type of, you know, sequences. This feels like it's either a very independent, very gritty type of film. Hugh Jackman does a phenomenal job in this movie. Uh, Patrick Stewart also does a phenomenal job as Professor X. The little girl, whose name I always forget, uh, she is amazing in this movie. She barely says anything, but she is awesome in the film. I, I highly recommend it. Uh, right now, it's one of my favorite movies of the year, if not my favorite movie of the year so far. Like This movie is as good as comic book movies could be. If they're, if they're given to the right people, if they're in the right hands, and if, they, if there's a love and care to them given that they deserve. And he, it should be nominated for Best Picture of the Year. And that's how good it is. I give it a 10 out of 10, guys. I love Logan. This is an awesome movie. Highly recommend it. Go check it out before it leaves theaters. Watch it in theaters because that is the best way to experience this movie. Forget 3D. Forget IMAX. Just watch it in regular 2D. Watch it in theaters old school. It is an awesome throwback, but at the same time, it has that complete Wolverine X-Men kind of fuse, and it just works beautifully. I think you guys are going to love it if you give it a chance, if you haven't seen it yet, if you're kind of like in the bubble. Uh, maybe you felt bad after the last two movies if you didn't like them. I think if you if you didn't like the last two movies, there's a very good chance you're still going to like this movie. It's that good. So go check out Logan. It's still in theaters, I believe. The DVD and Blu-ray comes out soon. I'm already hyped up for that. I'm going to get the Blu-ray as soon as it comes out. But there you go, guys. That's my uh, short review of Logan. Uh, don't miss out on it. It's a great film, guys. Uh, like always, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. I'd love to hear from you, so please leave your comments below. Peace, everybody.